Booker. I'll be certain to attend to that distinction. Booker, when there's a moment when we're not being shot at. If you're interested, I spotted some supplies over there. What is a life compared to a faith? Watch out! God. Come on out. I don't think I understand how you do it. I understand the ones I used. When I was younger, I didn't just open the ones I found. I remember making them. Making them? I could go wherever I wanted. But I always wanted to come back. To what? Family? How There's do you do that? Whatever it is. You know how I said I had plenty of time? Well, I tried to figure it out. I read literature on physics and other such things. Yeah? What did that teach you? There's a world of difference between what we see and what is. and there's not you can do to stop me. Oh, sweet child. That's where he is. Rocket Booker!
This. Let me see. Done. Want to hold on to this? Thanks. Unconscious on the beach, you kept repeating a woman's name. Anna. I don't want to talk about that. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have pried. Where are you from, Mr. DeWitt? New York. What did you do there? Business much like this. It's something that really caters writing on a resume. It was a fine thing you came along when you did. <laughs> How do you think I ended up here? I gambled, and now I owe money to men you don't want to be in debt to. I come here to pay it back. Me busting you out. What do you think that was? Charity? Who sent you? Somebody who was willing to take my marker in exchange for you.
So, looks like they call you the false shepherd. And you the lamb. Let's not call each other that. Suits me. How do you figure they'd know you'd be coming? Either they've got a prophet on their side. Har har. Or them that hired me also wrote the signs. Why? Got me. what the doctor ordered. You all right? I want to see Paris. I want to see everything. It's up to you now. There's no one... Wait, what is that? 40 North by 74 West. That's not Paris, that's New York. How did you know that? One thing I had in that tower was time, Mr. DeWitt. Time to study things like geography. I owed money. And there's a fellow who... He offered to wipe away my debt in exchange for you. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. Come on, Eddie. Everything's gonna be okay. Will you just turn around and talk to me and we can... <laughs> Shepherd, we've been hearing so much about. Caused a mess of trouble at the raffle. You, Fitzroy? Nothing but. I got no quarrel with you or your Vox Populi. This is my airship you're hanging me out of, and I got perilous need of it. Really? Because it sure look like old Comstock's airship to Listen, me. I ain't looking for a fight. There's already a fight to win. Only question is which side you on? Comstock is the god of the white man, the rich man, the pitiless man. But if you believe in common folk, then join the Vox. If you believe in the righteous folk, then join I just the Vox. Want my ship. And the Vox shall give her to you. But first, you must help the Vox. Down in Finkton, there's a gunsmith who can supply weapons to our cause. Get our guns from him, and you shall have your ship back. I'm find the Elizabeth before she lights up. The most common complaint I hear from the working man is that they are unhappy with their lot. Oh, why torment yourself, I ask? The ox cannot become a lion. And why would you want to? What? Who wants all those responsibilities and worry? You do your job, you eat your food, you go to sleep. Simplicity is beauty.
and crew have set their apart. Booking for your work. Some of you beware the <laughs> happen. You wanna know what we do to pretty little snowways? Or maybe you don't. Hey! Just stop for a minute! Get away from me! Stay away! I just wanna talk to you! Elizabeth! Just hold up for a minute! Get away! 
away from me! I'm not angry with you! Stay away! Hey, watch out! Move it! Move! Stay back! God damn it! I am not going with you! Don't go in there! I have no need of one such Wait, as you! No, no, no! Call it in! Call it in! Gotta be another way in.
Okay, I'm slipping. Do not attempt to follow me, Mr. Tewick. <sighs> Elizabeth, I've made an arrangement to get our airship back. You can get us out of here. Yes, I just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton should be a walk in the park. What do you say, partners? <sighs> you're a liar, Mr. DeWitt, and a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. <sighs> Don't get too comfortable with my company, Mr. DeWitt. You are a means to an end. Just aren't no more. satisfied with their place here at Fink Industries. But I tell you, there's a purpose for all... Smith, who sent you to find this person? Daisy Fitzroy. She's either a great hero or the worst of scoundrels, depending on who's doing the time. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. <laughs> Welcome to Fink Industries Recruitment. We are not looking for any help. You hear that? No help. How are we going to get into Finkton? Illegally. Let's look for another way in. You can pick this. Ready. Over there, a service elevator. It should take us down to Finkton. And get ourselves killed in the bargain. Hey. <gasps> Vengeance is mine, saith the prophet. Much obliged. That's all I have. Take a look Gun at this lock. Smith Chen Lin, wanted for known connections to the outlaw Daisy Fitzroy. Looks like our guy's drawn attention. That's not good, is it? No. I found some money. Want it?
It's Slate's locker. He must have worked here. Uh, this is my mother's diary. Why would Slate have it? My husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother, she had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city, please. Jeremiah Fink, and I want to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee. Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee. Be the bee. Hello? Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes? Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. Got an ego. designed specifically for the Fink Worker. Mr. DeWitt, welcome to Finkton. You'll find a variety of supplies here that should see you through your visit. What does Mr. Fink want with us? Excuse me, miss, but Mr. Fink's interest is strictly in the gentleman. But why... So sorry, young miss. But any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. Does this strike you as good news? It doesn't strike me as good news. We need a coal porter here to half ton of coal from Fink Manufacturing to Shanty. What do you think? Head to the gunsmith or scavenge supplies by that clock shop? Here it is, Booker. Chen Lin, gunsmith. Let's be clear. I would like nothing more than to shorten your work day.
Bodhisattva Buddha. Who? The founder of Buddhism. He spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Something tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worship that ain't him. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? What happened here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. Do you hear that? There's someone downstairs. Excuse me. Man, I'm sorry to bother you. I... We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He... gone. Gone? They take... flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Mei Lin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker, we'll find it. Just leave her be. Why not Vox Populi help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? <laughs> Who's the cops? Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. Now let's figure out where this good time club is. Said it. Now we just need to head inside and find Mr. Lin. And just call me the wrong and tells you that you are getting a short end of the stick. Do you know what they're really saying? Pinkerton like you. 
Let's find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Go ahead! Now, our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. Explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Yet. Over there, fireman! Themselves. Pick this one up at a hiring fair. Or a song. We're getting excellent results. Sorry, that's all I've got. is an expert with the automata wants to replace all our security with machines i'll give the old boy credit though it would be fewer mouths to feed <laughs> Not interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. There's a door over here. I think that's the way down. Come on. 
here, modern woman. It's 1912. It's gonna be 2000. I'm here. Now. Elizabeth? On it. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? And I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. There. Fitzroy, you goddamn gook. We know you can hear us. You want to say something? Or you want us to bring in Mrs. Lynn for company? Uh, throw a bucket of ice water on him. We got three more to bring in tonight. Oh, what's that smell? There ain't no privies down here. This lock? Oh, this won't take long at all. This is Isn't it? Number nine. It's done. Do it? You're a lion. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling. But I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, DeWitt. Not hyenas. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? Where the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. This is because the body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia, but how? It's like riding a bicycle. You never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If 
we go into this tear, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Okay, open it. Look, there's no blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same. These men... I killed them. They were dead. Not in this world. Look at their noses. They're... They're all bleeding. Disgusting! What's wrong with them? They remember. Remember what? Being dead. What is going on here? Perfect timing. That's all I have right now. That man we just fought. In the other world, he was the one who was strung up on the wall. In the other world? This whole business makes my head hurt. some money. That'll do. That'll do.
job. Do you know what Daisy Fitzroy and her anarchist cronies want for you? <laughs> uh, strike, they say. Uh, throw down your tools, they say. Why, I tell you, the moment you do, you will see what those hyenas are made of. I ask you, where are they going to be when it's cold outside and your boy's got the mums and you've got nothing on your table but regret? D don't you see what the vast populi are selling? They're selling dreams! And dreams, my friend, uh, they don't come to you. Do you hear anything? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. Booker, look. The shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin... Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? I don't know. Kill my husband? God. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe if, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. She... Would having his tools back fix his mind? cares. We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. <laughs> <laughs> 